What's up guys, Lux here from the MD Journey where my job is to help you succeed in med school with less stress. In this video, we're gonna go over step two. Not a fun topic, but we're gonna go over my top five tips on doing well on the exam. When I saw my score, guys, I was absolutely floored. Um, it was 15 points higher than my goal score and I couldn't even imagine doing that well. So I really wanna share the tips that I think really helped me do well on the exam. Tip four is my favorite, so definitely stick around. Uh, for the whole video and if you enjoy it give it a like to the video subscribe to the channel but no more time to waste let's get to the tips all right guys let's get to it five tips on how to do well on your step two exam so the first one this was a really one big one for me and that was readjusting my psychology my mindset on how to view my test questions and what i mean by that is that usually when we look at test questions especially when we have a hard one we think about that that's a question that's going to lower our score but then when we have easy questions we don't really think much about them we just kind of move on but it's usually the hard questions that make us feel insecure makes us feel anxious so you have to flip the script instead look at every question as an opportunity to raise your score instead of looking at every question as an opportunity to lower it. I know in the grand scheme of things it may be the same, but it's much easier where you can go from question to question of just saying, do I know it? If so, you know, that's a great way for you to raise your score. And if you don't know it, well, okay, like move on. So this was really big when I took my step two exam because you're gonna have a lot of WTF questions. For those of you that have taken step one, you know what I mean. Um, those questions will always be there on exam. So it's, it's better to just get excited when you see questions that you can answer instead of worrying about the ones you, you know, maybe 50-50 on or you have no clue on. So think about gaining points instead of looking at the questions as an opportunity to lose points. You'll be much more confident. The test is really long, it's like nine hours. So you wanna remain confident throughout and it's much easier to do that when you look at every opportunity instead of every opportunity for failure. The second tip I wanna give you guys for doing well on your step two exam is do not, I repeat, do not pay attention to your MBME uh, practice exam scores. And that's just because the curves are just wacky on those guys. Obviously, if you're doing well, like pay attention for your confidence sake, but if you're not doing so hot, I mean, I'll give you um, some insight. My final step two score, which I was really happy with, was 17 points higher, 17 points higher than my highest MBME. And so you can understand how my confidence was I was definitely doing a roller coaster throughout my whole exam or my whole exam study period just because they're just not predictive. And I think most people will agree with me um, that your results um, on your final exam will probably not look like the results in your MBME. Um, and I don't know why that is, but you know, use those questions. I would still take those exams to get the practice questions, but to kind of understand where you are, use the UL self-assessments um, which do a much better job of predicting your final score. I think my U-World was within five to 10 points of what I finally got. So um, again, do not pay attention to your MBME practice exam scores. You'll just feel a lot more confident using as practice questions, but that's basically it, stop right there. Third tip I wanna give you guys to do well on your step two exam is to use what I like to call the sandwich method with online method. A lot of you guys know what online method is. Um, I made a review video, which should be out by now. It's a link in the description. Also has a discount for any of you guys interested. But the sandwich method with OME is basically this. During your first week, week and a half of dedicated step two studying, you go to the videos and the resources to consolidate all that info that you've learned during your clinical rotations um, in a very short period of time. Then use, you know, continue to do your UL questions in the middle, and then a week before your exam, when you're feeling anxious, go back to online method. Use the notes, use the videos, whichever uh, part of OME you really enjoy to basically form your confidence and to make sure that you understand the most basic information because that's where you can start earning points. You know, go back to the psychology of seeing all the questions as an opportunity to gain points. If you can really master the high yield information, they're bound to show up on the real exam and you just feel good about yourself when you can get to continue to answer questions after question. So use OME at the start, use OME at the very end. It's a great structure that helped me do well on the exam. And my fourth tip, and this is my favorite, is to keep track of all your missed and guessed questions. Usually people like to use flashcards, you can use a notebook, whatever you prefer. I use Anki, um, but basically if I missed a question on UWorld, or if I guess correctly on UWorld, I would mark the question on UWorld, but I would also make a flashcard, which is 
um, you know, very short um, to the point and you just start collecting over time all the questions you've got wrong or that you didn't really understand correctly. And every morning before or every evening before you start your actual study prep, make sure to do 20, 50 flashcards, whatever um, your schedule allows, because this way you understand that you're not gonna make the same mistake again. It's much easier, your confidence level again increases when you can start, you know, when your knowledge of how much you don't know starts to shrink over time because you're just not gonna be making the same mistakes on those same type of questions. So for me, for example, I was terrible on my site questions. I think I was scoring like 21th percentile at one point on my U-World. And so I was doing a lot of flashcards for all the missed questions and uh, ended up being one of my better um, subjects on my final exam. So definitely make sure you have some type of system where you're keeping track of your missed questions. Flashcards are usually my recommended way of keeping track, but however you do it, just make sure you do a little bit of every day of all your missed and guessed questions. And my fifth tip is to make sure you do U-World questions as many times as possible. Ideally twice, but I know that can be a little bit hard. Um, during your rotations, what I would recommend is to just keep track of all your marked questions or all your missed questions, make sure you mark them. And the same thing for all the questions you, that you guess correctly on. And then try to finish UWorld before, you know, a week or two of your actual dedicated study period. So for example, I started my step two studying after spring break. So I used the two weeks of spring break vacation, which my school provided me to redo all those more questions that I had. This way, you know, I was building confidence by first learning what I sucked at, you know, during the rotations, everything that I had missed. Um, and then, that was a lot of questions by the way. And then I started my second round of UWorld, same approach, marked any questions that I missed or got right correctly. And then about a week, a week and a half with two weeks left before the exam, I made sure that I had done all those more questions again. So UWorld is a great resource, has like 2,400 questions. So if you can make sure that you understand at least those 2,400 bits of information, the test won't seem as bad for you. So to quickly go over what we learned, make sure you kind of have the right psychology um, and the mindset of looking at every question as an opportunity to do better on the exam. Make sure you don't pay attention to your MVME um, practice exam scores. Make sure you use online med ed. Try the sandwich method that I pr presented in the video. Um, make sure that you keep track of all the questions that you get wrong, as well as the ones you guess correctly on, and try to do you world as many times as you can. But with those five tips, you know, you guys will be able to do great on your exam, assuming that you have a great structure. This is not gonna be the only step two uh, video that I'm gonna present for you guys. This is just the most important one, but I'll do another video on like the top resources that you need to use and study schedules and whatnot. Um, I do have a blog post, which is gonna be like the ultimate guide on step two studying and how to do well, which should be ready by the time this video comes out. And if it is, then the link will be in the description. Um, it is gonna be one of my longer blog posts. So if you wanna just download it as a PDF, you know, the link is also in the description. That's totally free for you guys as well. Um, but again, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you have any questions, comment below. If you enjoyed the video, give me a like, give the video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I appreciate you guys watching till the very end. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video next week. Take care, guys.